What's going on today, YouTube? Thank you so much for stopping in. We're going to get right into the video, but be sure to smash the subscribe button, tap that bell notification, punch the like button, and let's get going. Let's talk about the Razer Huntsman Elite Gaming Keyboard. I've used the Razer Black Widow Elite keyboard. It's slightly different than the Huntsman Elite. First off, the Huntsman has better LEDs, but it also drops the pass-through USB and microphone slash headphone jack on the left upper side of the keyboard. That's gone, but the lighting is better in the Huntsman Elite. But there's something else that's even incredibly better about the Huntsman Elite over the Black Widow Elite that most people don't realize, and that's the optical mechanical switches versus the mechanical switches found in the Razer Black Widow Elite. The difference is, one is a complete mechanical switch and the other is optical with a laser, meaning that the optical laser switches that are in the Huntsman Elite have a zero D bounce delay, meaning you click it, there's no bounce inside whatsoever. Not that the Black Widow Elite had that because of the stabilizer bar and the way they were made, very high quality, but they're a lot more accurate in the Huntsman Elite. With the Black Widow Elite, you have three switches. You have the green tactile and clicky, which are 50 Gs of actuation downforce. Then you have the orange, Razor switches, which are the tactile and silent. Then you have the Razor yellow switches, which are linear and silent. Those are your options for the Black Widow Elite. And moving over to the Huntsman Elite, you have the purple Razor optical clicky switches, which have 1.6 millimeters of actuation distance, which is 30% less than the average mechanical keyboard. The other option for the Huntsman Elite is the red optical linear switch, which only has one millimeter of actuation distance, 16.7% less than any other tactical linear switch out there. And they're even lighter at 40 Gs of actuation distance. Very good keys. Both of them I've tried. I prefer the clicky purple switches. On a typical keyboard, you'll press the button. We'll have a little bit of a bounce inside or internally, and then the signal is sent. You won't really notice the difference unless you're typing. It's hard to explain. So I'm going to show you guys on the screen. When you press the keys on the Huntsman Elite, you're really essentially stopping the connection of a laser across one of the buttons that you're pressing, and it's instant. As soon as you press it, it blocks the laser. As soon as you let off, it unblocks the laser. There is zero debounce delay there whatsoever. The actuation method on most mechanical keyboards is metal point contact versus the Huntsman Elite being light actuation. And like I said, guys, light actuation versus metal point contact. Light actuation is a lot more accurate, faster, and smoother with zero issues. Most mechanical keyboards have an actuation distance of between 2 and 2.2 millimeters, some a little more than that. Most mechanical keyboards are between 2 millimeter and 2 2.2 millimeters actuation distance, although some of the cheaper ones are even more than that. It's crazy. But the Huntsman Elite is 1.5 millimeters. Most mechanical keyboards are cross stem. The Huntsman Elite is cross stem with stabilizer bars, and we're going to touch base more on that as well. Because of the new stem shaped keys and stabilizer bar end to end, it does not matter where you press the key, it's going to be the same actuation force and distance no matter where you press it. It also has unrivaled durability 100 million keystrokes strokes versus your typical 50 million of another mechanical keyboard. The Black Widow Elite had 80 million keystrokes. This is a huge step up. It's a hundred million keystrokes. Now we've already talked about this. The metal stabilizer bar flanks both sides of the switches and because it's optical, it has fewer internal moving parts, which means there's less things to worry about, which means it's going to last longer, which is why it has a hundred million actuation warranty. Okay, so right here is some information from Razer, the information manual, as well as instructions, warranty, stuff like that, and the thank you letter from the CEO for buying the product. A little bit better packaging than the Blackwood Elite. Just the way it's set up is a little bit better. This is the cable for the keyboard right at the back. We're gonna pull this out. Well, here is the keyboard. We flip it over. The wrist pad or the pad to rest your arms on is right here on the bottom. This keyboard does feel a little bit different than the Black Widow Elite. The keys are a little different. Not only that, it does feel a little bit less bulky on the sides, just a little bit. It's a little bit more trim around the edges and it also doesn't feel as heavy. Wrist support here, a little bit different than the Black Widow. It feels a little heavier and it's a different shape too. 
To be honest, this is a much better connection than the Black Widow Elite for sure. If you guys are wondering what these connections are here, there is an LED light around this as well, this wrist pad. Definitely not the same as the Black Widow Elite. There's better wrist support for sure on the Huntsman. Uh, the Black Widow Elite was probably, I would say, about an inch uh, more narrow. It wasn't the same size at all. In fact, the way it hooked was kind of just magnetic. It would just sit at an angle here, but it was definitely a little bit shorter. I do feel that the wrist pad itself, the leather was softer on the Black Widow Elite. Uh, and I also feel like that there was more padding. It kind of stuck out above the base a little bit better, but overall this connects to the keyboard a lot better and there's more room. And the buttons are a little bit softer. Like the buttons feel more responsive. The LED ring around the wrist support is so much better than the plain one on the Black Widow Elite. It's just so much better. Look at that. Looks incredibly good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Razer Huntsman Elite. It is a really good keyboard. I've been using it for the last couple of hours, and I can tell you guys, without a doubt, there's less finger and wrist fatigue than versus the Black Widow Elite because there's less pressure required to actuate each key, and it has less actuation distance. So it's just a little bit easier to use, which requires less strength in your fingers. And that may not seem like a lot when you're only typing for five, 10, maybe even 15 or 20 minutes. But when you're gaming and pressing keys for eight to 10 hours during a live stream, or you're just gaming all day, by the end of the day, it definitely takes its toll on you by using the Black Widow Elite, which is an all mechanical clicky keyboard versus this optical mechanical keyboard, which like I said, is less actuation distance and less force required to actuate each key. So like I said, after the course of a several hour day, multiple days in a row, less fatigue on the fingers and wrist and overall in your hand in general. Great keyboard. Both of them are great. The Huntsman Elite is just a little bit better in my opinion. I've used them both and it really comes down to what you want. Do you need pass through USB and a headset or headphone connector? Then you're going to need the Razer Blackwood Elite. If you don't really need those features and you're looking for an overall better keyboard and the features that suit you more are LEDs and of course a wrist support that's more comfortable and has really great LEDs around it, then go for the Huntsman Elite. But it really comes down to, like I said, headphone and USB extension versus LED and wrist support. Thank you so much guys for stopping in. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, punch the like button, comment below. What do you guys think of these videos? Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves out there in these strange times, guys. Be safe, and I'll see all of you guys on the next upload. Take care of yourselves. Peace.